what is up guys and welcome back to another video so this is part three of the john boat to bass boat build in part three i'm going to be cutting out the deck okay so i'm going to do this a little bit different than everyone else usually people will put cardboard or paper in the boat and then trace around that and then trace the paper or cardboard onto the wood what i'm going to do is put the plywood on top of the boat and then trace around the outside beam and then take off an inch or so from that. I would use a cardboard, but I don't have cardboard. And also to do that, I will need the deck frame in there. But the deck frame is right here, still drying. I just painted it like five hours ago, so that still has probably 19 hours to dry, which really sucks. <laughs> I mentioned that like four times now in this series, but yeah, there is a way around that and that is setting the plywood on top and just tracing around the boat. But here is the thing. So this boat back here is wider than four feet, as you can see. There's about six or seven inches right here. I'm gonna have to add a sheet of plywood and I'm gonna have to add some support under the other piece of plywood too because it won't just float here. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to add a few more arms to the deck once it's here. So I add one probably here and then one up here as well just to support this little piece of plywood that will have to go there. Okay, I got the plywood where I want it. I moved it up to be flush with this bench, which is where it's going to be. So, now I just need to trace along the outside edge. I will probably trace on the inside right here as well. And that will give me the line of how wide I need to cut around the edge of the boat and then I can cut it out and slide it in the boat and hope it fits basically <laughs> all right so as you can see here is the line I need to cut but that is the outside diameter I just marked this piece of wood that will be the inside diameter so I'm gonna go around the entire piece of wood and mark the inside diameter just like that All right, we got the deck cut out. When I use a jigsaw or any saw, the vibrations or the sawdust or something makes my entire arm itch, like really bad. And I mean literally my entire arm. It's somewhat red. Does that happen to everyone? Or am I like allergic to sawdust or something? But I feel like it's not the sawdust. I feel like it's the rapid vibrations. I don't know what it is. Comment below if that happens to anyone else. But we got the deck cut out. I'm about to go test it out on the boat for the first time. I added some pieces of wood to keep the plywood up in place. All right, so here is the first look at the deck and it looks so freaking sick. So my cut was a little too big like I planned, but I'm going to leave it at this until I get the actual deck in here and get it to the right height and then I will cut it down to the right size. You can see right here, it's too big, too wide to go all the way forward. Honestly, it looks like it's just this corner right here because all that has a gap. I still need to cut this out, but again, I will do that when I have the deck inside there. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and try to paint it real quick. I may have to run to the store and get more paint. All right guys, so it is day four of the John Boat to Bass Boat build. This is the top of the deck. I got it all cut out yesterday and I got one side painted. Here is the floor of the John Boat. I got both of these sides painted. That's all dry. This is the top, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it one more coat of paint and then paint the back side of this as well. I'm in the garage today because it is super windy outside. I was supposed to go to Lake Fryer with some friends and go fishing today, but the wind's supposed to be like 23 miles per hour, so that's not happening. So today, I'm just gonna go ahead and paint. Hopefully the last bit of paint I have to do besides the back deck, which I haven't even started on, but. All right, quick change of plans. Before I start painting, I realized I need to finish off this cut right here 
And then also cut out the piece of plywood for the foot pedal. And also cut out supports to go under this piece to hold that piece up. So before I start painting, I'm gonna go cut all that real quick and then I will come back and then we will have everything in the garage that needs to be painted. And I will paint it all at once, get it done today, and hopefully it will be dry by tomorrow. Okay, sorry about the wind, it's bad, but. So I just put it in place and I noticed that I need to chop off a hair off this corner and off that corner as well. And then I'm gonna put it back in place and see where it sits. Okay, so I need to make a few more adjustments. So this side is off, it sits a lot closer than that side. Also, the back side sticks out about that much more because I cut it longer just to be safe. So I will need to cut that back in as well. But right now I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. If you look right here, it's angled down. So there's a gap right here in the plywood. So I'm going to cut this at a slight angle to match that angle of the boat and that way that gap will not be there. The gap is okay because it will be hidden by carpet, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do this and that way I can have it completely butted up to this wall. My sister has a rabbit. So my sister just found this rabbit earlier today at Sonic. She's calling it Sonic because that's where she found it. Pretty cute. Looks like a little skunk. <laughs> little bit. You're so cute. <laughs> A little skunk. <laughs> he looks like a skunk. Yeah. <laughs> all looking at yeah. Right. But check this out. So my mom has four rabbits. And this black one right here just had babies like two days ago. This was the day we found them. So we just got some baby rabbits as well. I cut out the edges here because the weld goes all the way down. And that was stopping it. Same on this side. And also that angle, angling the wood like that, made it fit perfectly. I'm very happy with that. The carpet will hide all these imperfections. Your boy can't cut straight. <laughs> Another thing is it is level all the way across, which I love, it looks so good. So I wanna add real quick why I put this cutout piece on this side. I'm gonna have the trolling motor up here. And I feel like since that will be probably up here or so, I feel like we will never step on this side. We will always step up right here in the middle and walk that way. And we will never walk on this side. I mean, we might cast over here, we might step on this, but uh, I just feel like it will have less traffic over here than on that side. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this back, make it flush with the deck. Okay, so I just got this back cut off. I am happy with that, so now, I need to, man, this is so freaking awesome. Now I need to get some cardboard and trace out this gap, and then we can trace that onto some plywood and cut out this piece. I traced the template on the wood, and now I'm cutting it out with the saw. All right, now I just gotta hope it fits. Here is that piece. It will fit in just like that. Came out pretty freaking good. Now I need to make some supports. I will be attaching it to the deck. All right, so I got this cut out, and now I got some two by fours, I made a template for this edge right here. So once I cut that, that will fit up against the wall very nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out those notches real quick. Well, crap. I cut this piece pretty jagged and short, thinking it wouldn't matter, but that will be seen. I had to cut out a notch right here because there is a rivet that it was catching on down there. If I screw that together, it's going to be up tight and it will leave that big gap right there. I don't like that at all. Screw it. I'm going to recut it. But other than that, this looks pretty good. It sits right. It sits at the same angle, so I can go ahead and screw in these 2x4s to the frame. But I will do that after I paint it. 
All right, so that looks way better. I'm happy I did that. Now this will sit right in there. Just like so. Bam, perfect. But here is the first look at the boat. My friend Devin came over, so I threw it all together, put the floor in there. So here is kind of the first look of the deck and the floor, and it's going to be sick. So just imagine this, but with carpet. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. All right, let's go do some painting. The worst part about this project. The painting ain't bad. It's the waiting for the paint to dry, which is the bad part. So I was about to start painting, and I realized I forgot to cut a piece of plywood for the foot pedal. So I found this piece of half inch CD plywood, and luckily, somehow, amazingly, it fits perfectly. So I'm gonna cut this off, and that will be for the foot pedal. All right, now we get to do some painting. My favorite part. That was sarcasm. But I feel like we got a lot done today. We got the deck cut out. We got the rest of the deck cut out. We got the foot pedal deck cut out. And then we got some more support arms for the deck cut out as well. So I'm about to paint all this stuff up. And then once it dries, we can go screw the entire deck together. And then the deck build will be done. And it will just need to be carpeted after that. The floor is already done. I just need one more coat of paint and then all I need to do for that is carpet it as well. So that means I need to make a trip to Amarillo to go buy some carpet pretty soon. I feel accomplished today. We did quite a bit for the boat. I realized there was no easy and fast clean way to do it. So I said screw it and grabbed the paint, but I'm definitely regretting it now. <laughs> All right, I got it all painted. I also got all the paint off my hand, thankfully. <laughs> but I'm gonna let this sit here and dry. It takes 24 hours, which is just insane to me. I'm never using oil base paint ever again. <laughs> but that is it for part three. Subscribe for part four coming out very soon. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.